Okay, this is my first drive with version 14.222. Let's see how it does here. There's two things that I want to check out. The first one, well, let's see if it's been improved. That's going to be the gate test, so let's go on and jump on over there. By the way, it's a cool one in Central Florida. It's 57 degrees right now. Yes, winter has arrived, and it's due to be here for about 48 hours. The first test is going to be the old gate test. Number one, are you going to pull up close enough? No, come on, let's creep forward. Okay, I'm going to have to give it a little pedal. Did not work this time. Come on, let's creep forward a little bit more. Here we go. I was going to stay in position till we have enough room. Come on, let's go. Here we go. Okay. The, the, the good news is, you know, in previous versions, it would be a little bit further to the left. It now has the proper lane. It was over to the right. That was good. It did not block any potential income traffic there. Uh, but it just did not creep close enough. So I had to go all the way to my right foot and give it that much you know, of the right pedal there. Now, hey, Grok, can you tell me what's new in FSD version 14.2.2.2? FSD version 14.2.2.2 is a minor update after 14.2.2, with the same release notes focusing on an upgraded neural network, vision encoder for better emergency vehicle handling, road obstacles, and human gestures. It adds arrival options like parking lot or curbside choices, smoother speed profiles including a new sloth mode, UI tweaks like self-driving stats under controls, and overall refinements for less hesitation and better reliability. Users report buttery smooth driving, fewer nags, and confident lane changes. Okay, I'll point out that we're in a 25 mile an hour zone. I have it on chill. We were doing about 26 to 27 miles per hour. Now, Grok, you do know in our destination, we are set at a parking garage. And that's not just any parking garage. It's one of the most complex indoor parking garages in the country. We're going to the Lime Garage at Disney Springs. Grok, do you think that it's gonna be able to find us a good parking space? FSD's arrival options let you pick parking garage mode, which should help it navigate complex spots like the land garage by evaluating the environment smartly. Users say parking precision is much better in 14.2.2, especially in tight garages. But for one of Disney Springs' trickiest, stay ready to supervise. It handles most confidently now. Okay, this is a big test. I was going to go to the Disney Springs Lime parking garage, but it's saying full. So let's see what happens now. We'll go to another garage. There's like four of them here. Okay, notice it's not getting into the lime entrance here. The orange one is full too. Let's see if it goes to the grapefruit garage. Here, let's go in and change that. Can you change our destination to go into the grapefruit garage because the orange and lime are full? Oops. Sorry, I had the volume all the way down here. Got it. Destination change to grapefruit parking garage. It's just 0.1 miles away. No worries about following. We're rerouted and good to go. Now, were you able to see that the lime and the orange were full? No, I can't check real-time parking availability for garages like lime or orange. Those details come from signage or the Disney app. Good call switching to Grapefruit. We're three minutes out now. Was FSD able to read the full signs for lime and orange? No, FSD doesn't share real-time sign readings with me. It's vision spots details like that internally, but doesn't confirm full status allowed unless prompted. If it saw them, that's likely why you knew to switch. Smart move. 
Well, I had to tell you, the car is doing a great job. You know, we have moderate traffic here. It is a holiday. It's not weekend yet. It's Tuesday. It's New Year's Eve Eve. We're in the Disney area at Disney Springs. It just came across these lanes, and it did it very smoothly and very carefully. Uh, I am on on chill mode, but uh, that's all good. Heading to the grapefruit garage. Glide through the maze. Tesla's FSD dancing with confidence its way. Will it find a spot for us under those neon signs? Just let go of all the worries. Tonight the world is mine. Now, Disney Springs, I don't know if you call it unique. It is pretty much a state-of-the-art uh, parking garage where they have little red lights or uh, green lights over the uh, each individual stall so you can look all the way down the aisle and to see where the available space is. So they have sensors there. So let's see what this is going to do. Just want to make sure that it's not going to go into a do not enter area. You might call me a glutton for punishment for going anywhere near Disney on a, a holiday time. Whoa, what's it doing here? Oh, it says no parking spaces. That was strange. It didn't follow the cars. There are no spaces available here. So. The exit only is to the right. Let's see if it goes to the left. If it goes to the right, well, I guess we're going to exit. I'm not going to stop it. Okay, it's going to go to the left, which is good. It sees all the pedestrians. I can see it in my display over here. Whoa, look at this. It made a judgment call there. It was good. Nobody got hurt. Okay, it's gonna to try to go down more. See, it doesn't see these overhead signs that say zero. Maybe it knows something we don't. I remember uh, the, the one time I tried it, it tried to go into like one of these motorcycle spaces or a space that was blocked off, you know, that had the yellow lines on it, but it didn't try that this time, so that's good. Okay, it is going to take a left now. This is kind of weird, we're in an orange painted area. It says do not enter there, so you have to go to the left, which it did. Oh, look, a space is opening up. Is it going to take it? Well, we have a few spaces to choose from here. Oh, what does this say? It says reserved for CFTOD parking operations. Let's see if it's going to try to move out here. I'm not sure if it's just going to straighten up or if it's going to move. I think it's going to move. Uh, no, it's just going to straighten up. So. We are going to call this a fail, and it even bumped into the little sign there. Okay, that was a good. I'll see you next time. As we find the spot at last, sadly it's the wrong one. FSD navigated safely and almost got it right. Don't forget to follow the gadget guru now, as his videos are. Great way to spend the night